Public School Board. I was head of the school's first levy campaign in 2004 and 2007. And here's a big difference between myself and my challenger. While I was leading these levy campaigns, my challenger, who moved to Seattle about two years ago, lived in Bellevue, and as it reported in the Seattle Times today, she did not vote in the 2006 levy election, nor in the February 2007, 2010 levy election. That's a big difference. I seek re-election to the Seattle School Board because I care deeply about our schools and I want to continue the steady work that's necessary to improve them. Being on the school board takes thoughtful listening, it takes the ability and the willingness to make hard decisions, and always keeping the focus on what's best for kids. And that's what I've done over the past four years. We have a new student assignment plan that builds neighborhoods and reduces transportation costs. We have innovative uh, contracts with our principals and with our teachers. The board acted swiftly and decisively in replacing the superintendent. And I personally have advocated an Olympia as the board's legislative representative for full funding for our schools. And we are seeing results. Enrollment is up, test scores are rising, outpacing the state average. Let me be clear, much more needs to be done. And that's what I want to work on in the next four years. We have a fine foundation. We need to provide the capacity for the schools, especially in West Seattle, that our kids need for the rising enrollment. We need to continue to work on the achievement gap, following the example of Mercer Middle School, for example, and Denny Middle School, which are doing a good job with closing the achievement gap. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sharon Beasley, running in position one. <clears throat> and on the uh, issue of voting for levies, um, after Peter voted to extend the contract of Maria Goodloe Johnson in spite of a very bad state audit and votes of no confidence throughout the district, there was a move in Seattle to not vote for the supplemental levy. So Peter knows very well that when people don't like what's going on in their school district, they don't support levies. Um, that being said, I'm running for school board. I, I am a parent. I have two teens. Uh, I'm very busy. I have a master's in education and two teaching credentials. The reason I'm running for school board is because I'm deeply disturbed that the district has squandered so much money and is failing to meet the needs of so many students. Public education must support the success of all of our students. The district has put a nice spin on test scores lately, but the fact is we've made virtually no progress among disadvantaged learners. As many, or upwards of 50% of disadvantaged learners are failing standardized tests, and about 30% are dropping out. Um, the best way to improve our graduation rate is to help all our students prepare, prepare for the futures they want for themselves. This is my passion, and this is what I will work towards. We need to create many pathways to success. This means strong, compelling programs that engage students all the way through high school, with remediation as soon as students begin to struggle and fail. We need to improve our curricula and give teachers the tools, flexibility, and support they need to effectively teach all students. And we need to fund from the classroom up. This is not what's happening now, and it's the only way we can afford to meet the needs of all of our students. In the past two years, teachers, counselors, and instructional assistants have been cut, while central administration awarded itself 113 salary increases. If I'm elected, I'll be sure our priorities are in the best interest of our students. I'll work collaboratively with school communities to ensure you're involved in making important decisions that impact our schools and children. Thank you. Good evening, Sherry Carr from District 2, and I'm running for re-election and why I do this work is that I know that with my background and my experience that I can continue to make a difference for Seattle's kids. I am the parent of a recent Seattle Public Schools grad, and I have another one at the New Nathan Hale High School. Uh, my background is that I spent nine years as a PTA leader 
in uh, the north end of the city. I spent two of those years as the Seattle Council PTSA president. So I know from firsthand experience what it means to put kids first. I also work at the Boeing Company, and I am a senior manager. I spent many of my years at Boeing in the finance organization. I know what it's like to run a large organization and make tough decisions in tough times. Our school board has laid a strong foundation for achieving our primary goal, which is to improve academic outcomes for all students. We've implemented a neighborhood-based student assignment plan. We've invested in our classrooms, and I supported that work for the purpose of challenging every single student. We've added advanced placement, international baccalaureate programs, language immersion, Montessori, a STEM program. We've improved special education services as well as ELL services. I supported the new teacher's contract. It's a national model for improved accountability for student outcomes and also offers teachers uh, professional opportunities. I've, I've led in the last two years the Audit and Finance Committee and I have led the work for the board to implement the first real oversight system Seattle Public Schools has had in decades. Uh, and that raises the bar on ethical behavior and tightens financial controls. And lastly, I would say that uh, another accomplishment is that we are, like so many of us, learning to do more with less. Uh, we prioritized funding in our classroom and we've reduced central overhead by one third in the last two years. The results, we do see improvements in student achievement. Enrollment is up and as uh, the challenger next to me said, uh, levies are passing at 74%, so we have support of the voters. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kate Martin. I'm the challenger in District 2. Um, District 2 is a great big ring around Green Lake. Um, I live in the Greenwood neighborhood. I'm uh, the mother of two children that have graduated from Seattle Public Schools. One last year who did running start at North Seattle Community College. The other one um, graduated in 09 from um, Roosevelt. They both had their diplomas from Roosevelt. Um, I am running um, because all roads led to this for me. I've been involved in Seattle um, neighborhood issues and citywide issues for 15 years. Um, I've been a community council president. I've been appointed to many commissions and councils um, by the city of Seattle, and I've um, had wonderful experiences serving on them. But as my kids were moving through school, um, I started to really clue into education, and I hate to tell you why, but um, the reason why is I homeschooled my younger son in sixth grade, and I realized he um, didn't have any skills, and he had been getting A's on his report card. Um, that's one of the um, patterns I want you all to kind of know about that's going on with the schools. 50% um, of the kids are not meeting the very weak standards that we have set by the state, but only 10% are flunking on their report card. So I always tell everybody, beware of those A's on the report card. This, they really don't mean much. We've dumbed down the classrooms considerably, and um, getting an A really um, wasn't what it used to be. Um, I'm also running because I'm a planner professionally. I'm a designer and planner and construction manager, and I've been completely appalled by the, um, by the management of uh, capacity in our school district. I was out on that VLANS line when they were closing the schools. Um, I don't think we ever should sell any of our assets, um, and we, we've given them away for pennies on the dollar, and we need those, suits, those seats in the district right where we sold them. So Seattle's on a growth projectory, and it has been for as long as I've been involved in Seattle. So the idea that they say that they think this is a good um, problem to have is disappointing. So those are just some of the reasons why I'm running. I'd love to talk to you about more of them. Thank you. Good evening. Um, my name is Harry M. Martin Mars, and I'm running from District 3. Um, I will start uh, by answering the question about why do this? Why am I running? Uh, there are two fundamental reasons. Um, one is because of the model, quite honestly, that my mother laid out for me when I was growing up in, in Harlem. Um, she was a single parent with eight children on public assistance, always talked about service and education. Those were the two themes that she drummed into us. She was a PTSA president herself for many, many years. So I learned what it meant to be a leader from her. 
Um, the second part of that is um, that I want to make sure that I give back to the system that helped produce me. It was through public education, the great differentiator, that I was able to go to college, get an MBA, do the work that I'm doing right now at the Boeing Company. Uh, all of those things inform, as well as my varied experience that I've been building up to pretty much all of my life as a classroom teacher, as a district staff person, uh, as a national consultant on education issues for many years. All of that experience helps me to use those multiple lenses, those multiple ways of making sure that we do what's best for our children. Hi everyone, I'm Michelle Buto and I am the challenger for District 3. District 3 is basically Northeast Seattle, uh, a slice of North Capitol Hill, um, East Lake neighborhood where I live, and then down South Lake Union and on into downtown. So it's the strangest shaped district uh, of the seven in our, in our school board. Um, I'm a mom of two kids at Tops K-8. I've got a six-year-old and an eight-year-old and I am the only member, I believe, um, of, of the current school board or the challengers who have kids in the K-8 grade band. So I'm in schools as a matter of course. Um, I moved to Seattle right after college and I was a community journalist. Went to work for the Seattle Times and then went off into high tech marketing. And recently I've been at home making sure that my kids get a great start to their education. Uh, in that time as a, as a communications and marketing professional, professional, I kept coming back to the same question for our city. Why do we have the most amazing city that I could think of to raise my kids in, and a reputation, and frankly a reality um, of a public education system that's not meeting the needs of, of our community? For my kids to grow up and to be productive adults and to maintain the integrity of this city and the growth of the city, we must do better with our public schools. And so that's why I'm running. Um, also, I've been a citizen involved in two, dif two different district advisory committees, and I also realized that the district um, is not always receptive to community input, and I felt that I needed to run it for a governance position to see some of the changes that I wanted to see made on behalf of the community um, for the school board. Thank you. Good evening, I'm Steve Sundquist. Uh, thank you for having all of us uh, this evening. I'm the president of the school board and I'm seeking re-election to a second term. Uh, I've been a public school parent. I'm a big believer in our public schools, but I'm also a believer that we've got real serious challenges that require real leadership. My goals are to raise the academic achievement levels of all of our kids uh, and work to close our achievement gaps. My record has been about pressing for real changes that help students, like our new student assignment plan, our school improvement framework, our new and innovative teacher and principal contracts, and our system-wide assessment program. And when we needed to, the school board stepped up and fired our superintendent and our chief financial officer quickly after having started our own investigation before that story broke in the Seattle Times. The good news is uh, we are seeing some results in Seattle. As Danny Westy in the Seattle Times pointed out a couple of weeks ago on last spring's state tests, uh, test scores for Seattle Public School students were above the, stated, uh, the state averages in all tested subjects, that's reading, writing, math, and science, grades 3 through 8, and having shown substantial year-on-year -year growth. So in response to your specific question, I'm running again because I think we've made a great start, but the work is clearly not finished, uh, and I still have great energy and passion for the work. Seattle Public Schools is a big organization, as Mr. Guppy said. Between our operating and our capital budgets, we spend almost three quarters of a billion dollars a year. We have thousands of employees, and we're now serving in the neighborhood of 48,500 students. It's a big, complex organization that takes time to move, and I have experience in moving it. Also, I know what happens when you get a school board made up of single-issue candidates and activists who don't have broad governance experience. We had that board in 2005 and 2007. By spring of 2007, they polled like Congress and the superintendent had announced that he was leaving. I listened carefully, I focus on kids, 
I make decisions, and I move on. I look forward to answering the rest of your questions. Thanks. Good evening. I'm Marty McLaren. I'm a parent and a grandparent. I, uh, my three children and my grandchild have all attended Seattle Public Schools. I've been a teacher in the Seattle School District. I taught middle school math and also high school math. I actually started out as a long-term sub here at Madison Middle, and then I moved over to the Rainier Valley and to Denny Middle and sub throughout the district. Eventually, I began to testify to the school board about textbooks, asking them to replace our textbooks with clear, coherent ones. And while I was at those meetings, I observed the board members repeatedly blowing off the expertise of concerned and well-informed parents and community members. And this happened over and over again on a variety of issues in which the community members were clearly correct, and history has borne this out. We need a school board that in, in requires its superintendent to give principals and teachers more control over resources and not let the, those resources be diverted. That gives um, full attention to its fiscal responsibility role that holds, that puts first its um, oversight of the superintendent, making sure that we have stable, supportive, and challenging classrooms for all students. These board members spent $500,000 getting elected. They were funded by wealthy donors, many of whom don't even live in Seattle. So it's not surprising that they do not listen to the rest of us. We need board members who understand that the schoolhouse is our house. I want to be on a board with other board members who believe in working together with all of us in the community in truth, trust, and transparency. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Um, nice, thoughtful answers, and the hard part starts now. Okay, so just a real quick um, review on how we're going to do this. We wanted to make sure to